So I'm here at the African American Bead Museum. I don't know what it's like. I don't know what to expect, but I know the outside is pretty darn cool. Check it out right there and right there and right there. But I'm going to show you more clips of the outside. It looks pretty interesting. The artwork that he's done and created things out of stuff that we would normally throw away, like cake cans, tins, mufflers. It's also a cake table. It reminds me of uh, Alice in Wonderland. But other than that, we'll see what the inside looks like. Each bead um, has a different meaning. Um, they all pretty much tell their own story depending on like what part of Africa they've come from, um, the materials that they're made out of, um, but they weren't necessarily worn for adornment, more so to um, speak a, not necessarily a hidden language, but I guess sort of a hidden language, like you'd have to be privy to it, you know? But they would, um, they could, for women, it could mean either you're uh, married, you're bearing a child, or you might even be seeking a partner. Um, some of them were for currency, others were for um, status as far as like where you're at in society or even age. So um, it's it's a variety, you know, they're made of different um, materials. And we have amber, you know, beads that date back, oh gosh, I don't even know how many years. It's like hundreds of years on these things for some of them. Wow. Um, yeah, and then you've got like the metals, like brass and things of that sort. And then you've got like, I don't know, ceramic, glass beads, wood beads. It's just really... So it's a wide variety. Yeah, it's, it's a really is. Types that are in it really here. is. Yeah. So what caused him to start this? Um, this? And he, who is he? Dabbles. Uh, Dabbles. Oh, yeah, only M.A. Dabbles. Uh, he's the storyteller, um, as well as, I guess you would say, artist, although he doesn't go by that. He prefers definitely storyteller um, because he does essentially tell stories through his uh, work. So um, you're saying, oh, so the beads, though, that came about through speaking to a vendor who... Um, I believe was wearing a necklace at one point and i think my dad asked if he could buy it from him and so um so he's your father yeah ah. <laughs> and so and so he the guy was offended because like that's not you don't ask to buy someone's beads you know and so he i guess that moment kind of educated him on the beads and from there grew the fascination of learning about beads and that's where he learned about the different um meanings and cultural aspects of each bead um and he realized that at that moment too, there was a gap in Detroit missing, so to speak, about you know beads, the history of selling them and whatnot. And that's just kind of how this uh, bead gallery expanded to what it is today. Yeah, pretty yeah. cool in here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that's it.